probably, you know, not too long, but, uh, nice. you know, it's nice. always, always nice. a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> We're live. We are. We're Facebook Live. We're hey, Facebook everyone. Live now. Charles, you can hook in now. Very, very. Yeah, I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing her. Let me see. Welcome back to Galaxy 107 FM this morning. We are also talking to Charles Parker coming out of Baltimore, oh. Maryland. And an absolute pleasure to catch up with good friend of Galaxy, Charles Parker. Believe me, uh, we've been going down the old road since we we hooked up last. Of course, we were talking about Love Is Us, which is playing right now. Really? All right. Yeah, I'm trying to get on. Let me see. Sharing my timeline. Someone sent us a love heart. I don't know who lives online. You, online. You, Thank you for your love heart. Yeah. No, Barbara no. Dot Harkins. Barbara Dot Harkins. No, no, I have you, but... I see Galaxy 107 artist, Galaxy 107 artists. Where's the actual Galaxy 107 page? No, it's under mine, Barbara. It, it's under Barbara Harkins. Barbara dot Harkins. Try that. 750. 750. Yeah, but I was just, I was typing in. I was live right now on Galaxy. I want to put Galaxy 107 and. I don't want to say I was live on Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no one watches it on the Galaxy One, yeah. so I had to go back to the Barbara. Yeah, on that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll but, I, you, I, but yeah. I share it to there and all the stuff yeah. at the end on yeah. the uh, Galaxy Artist page. Anyway, bro, <laughs> uh, let's go live to the desk. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, 4 after 11 o'clock, it is 33 degrees outside, hot, absolutely hot, the weatherman said 25 today, he's been blown completely out of the water. It is Thursday, February 27th, and uh, for you guys on Facebook right now joining us, thank you very, very much for that, we're going to Baltimore, Maryland, and of course, joining up with good friend of Galaxy, Charles Parker, Charles Pleasure to catch up again. Oh, it's good to see you, Grant. Yeah, looking it's well. It's been a long time. It has been uh, almost a year, uh, but believe me, you're looking well, my friend. So are you. So are you. And, I uh, see you got, you got the party girl shirt on. That's I like that. Well, I had to dress for the occasion, believe me, my bro, I really, really did. Uh, and it's always a pleasure to be able to promote Charles Parker here at Galaxy. Now, uh, Charles just as I'm starting to wane off with the uh, request, of course, for the lovers us, bingo, you've come back with a brand spanking new song that we're going to talk about very, very shortly. But let's refresh everybody's memory. Tell everybody how you came to the lovers us. Man, I forgot it's been so long. So long. Let's see. So I had, I had party girls. And after party girls, we did say goodbye. And then we did love is us. Love is us was... Uh, I know around Valentine's Day last next year, I think, and uh, just a sort of a, uh, you know, a happy love song, and it was pretty, it, it, it did well, you know, it did well, I mean, you guys played it like crazy over there in New Zealand. We still are. Yeah, yeah, Barbara sends me, every every couple days, Barbara sends me a screenshot of the, uh, of the show, and, and always see Love Is Us on the show. Yeah, but believe me, my friend, we play 
uh, quite a bit of Charles Parker, especially through the breakfast show, I've got to be honest, we get a lot of requests for that. Uh, but at the same time, Charles, you're a favourite of mine, so I slip it in whenever I can as well, you know what I mean? So uh, believe me, we love, love, love playing Charles Parker, especially Party Girls. We get still get a lot of requests for Party Girls, and if you remember, we were talking the last time saying, do you think Love Is Us is going to topple Party Girls? Uh, and I said to you it's going to be hard to do, but I do feel it's going to go that way. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, you see, nobody stopped asking for Party Girls as well, so that's on its own tangent, if you want to put it like that. And uh, Love Is Us, well, you know, it's getting quite a, re a following as well, and has for some time now. Uh, that's good. And as you know, as you said, the Barbara sends you photographs all the time. I'm expecting, when Jesus calls... To get the same kind of reaction. I hope so, you know, and the thing is, when Jesus calls, the, the brand new single, it's not even released yet, it's not actually going to be released until April 10th, and um, we, we thought about putting it out then because that's actually Good Friday, you know, right, right around Easter, so uh, it's a good time to put it out. We were, we were going to put it out in March, and then we, uh, we changed it to April, and uh, Oh, look, Willie's barking now. You must, must have got him wound up. Let me, let me throw Willie outside. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so uh, that's the uh, that's the plan to put it out now, April 10th. And, uh, you know, uh, this is a totally different song for me. This is... Uh, you know, I can tell you about the story if you want, you know, before we play the song, or I can tell you about it after or during, however you like. Well, I tell you what, let's rip into it now. Tell me all about it, because believe me, uh, I, I, as I said, I can see this one making a huge hit here at Galaxy. Now, I've got to be honest with you, I have okay. played it a couple of times, haven't said anything about it, I just played it, and literally... Really? We've had people come back and say, who and what is that? We want to know. So uh, believe me, my bro, I don't think <coughs> holding back this information any longer will do anybody any good. Let's, let's know about it. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's a totally different song for me. And we actually, I was just out at CRS in Nashville last week for the Country Radio Seminar. And you guys got to get there one year. One year you got to come to CRS and hang out with us. And uh, we were talking like, you know, this is a totally different song, <clears throat> being having the Jesus reference in the song. And and if you think back, you know, two two or three songs ago, I was the guy who had the song Party Girls. And now we kind of made a reference to, yeah, there it's on your shirt. It's on your shirt. I wish I had a shirt. I don't have any shirts anymore. I, I got rid of all of them. But um, we kind of made a reference to, you know, party girls and Jesus and it says now we'll just have when Jesus calls the party girls you know it's 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 kind of all you know a little strange it's a little strange yeah yeah but what a catchy track yeah you know when Jesus calls the party girls and then you have love is us so well there you go it all, it all ties in together um so you know I was on Facebook and I see a lot of friends asking for prayers and you know I'm sure you see that too people are sick people are dying and you know people are asking for prayers so the song was based on that just a lot of friends that we lost over the years and I thought that you know writing it from a musician standpoint where I say you know last night I got the call from Jesus he needs us to help him write this song and uh, that that had a lot to do with it so really the song just is, is based on that and it goes out to, to the people that we've lost. And maybe, you know, a way to look at it is that maybe Jesus needs us there more than we're needed here at this point in time. And, uh, you know, just, just believe in it and, and it's all good. I mean, you know, nobody lasts forever. Well, i got to yeah. be honest with you, my friend. I can relate to that. And uh, <clears throat> without further ado... Let's play it here at Galaxy. But, Charles, if you don't mind, I'd like to dedicate this to Cherie Grice, who passed away just a couple of days ago. 
uh, funeral yesterday. Uh, big shout out to husband Shannon, who she leaves behind in family. Uh, I couldn't think of a better song to be able to dedicate to this event. And of course, Sheree Grice, being a member of the Galaxy family, you are going to be Miss Sheree. Here is Charles Parker and When Jesus Calls. Hope you didn't mind me throwing that in there, my friend. No, no, it's all good. Yeah, uh, we we had one of our uh, Galaxy members pass away just a few days ago, and of course they had their uh, funeral yesterday for Shuri Grice. And uh, when as soon as you said that, she came to mind straight away. So I thought I'd just dedicate that to the family of Shuri Grice. Wow. Hey, Justin. Hi, yeah. I mean, that's, that's, what it's, that's what it's all about. Exactly, exactly. And uh, I, I really thank you for that because uh, <laughs> for me, um, couldn't think of a better time to be able to do this. Uh, by the way, you've got photos being taken of you all over the place. Oh, staff. Let me put my hat on, Grant. I got this hat. You're going to love this hat. All right. right. So uh, in Nashville, and a friend of mine, um, Dave McElroy, who's also an artist, and uh, he's got some songs out. So you, you guys might want to interview him because uh, if you do, you're going to get one of these hats. And he gave me this hat. He's got this new song out. And you got to read the hat. I'm going to put the hat on. Do you see, can you see the hat? Uh, duck down a little bit. Trucker hat. <laughs> this is my trucker hat. Is that what it says? Yeah, mm -hmm. this this is my trucker hat. I like that. I like yeah. that. So it's like it looks just like a trucker hat. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. And, Believe and me. We've just inter uh, interviewed someone to do in Australia to do with the ice road truckers. <coughs> yeah, yeah, we, we actually. Are you familiar with the ice road truckers, the TV show? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just That's interviewed exactly a right. young lady that comes out of Australia that has been uh, singing with the ice road truckers, and she did a uh, basically an anthem for them, if you know what I mean. So. Uh, uh, yeah. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we might be able to talk to people like Lisa Kelly, for instance. Yeah. That would be a buzz. It would. Or, or Mr. Dibber Gorksky. Uh, yeah. Alex. Alex, yes. Yeah. And I like Charles's hat. Though. I do That's like great. Charles's hat. Um, Charles, you're going to have to hook me up. Get get Barbara to uh, do an interview just so I can get a hat, bro. Yeah, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna send her Dave's name and, and email. Is it Dave McElroy? Um, you know, good guy. Good musician, nice. and uh, he's got the hats. I only have the one hat, right? So I can't really, you know, I can't give up my one hat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Right. Well, so let's you feel go... guilty. He's got no uh, party girl shirts. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, I'm Gosh. not partying with my party girl. That's for no. sure. Uh, let's right. go back to the desk. My shirt is a collector's item. Yeah. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, 15 after 11 o'clock, 27 degrees, not bad out there actually. And uh, Thursday, February 27th, joined, of course, coming out of Baltimore, Maryland, is Charles Parker. And Charles, uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Cherie Grice's family uh, with that song as well. And of course, we're talking about when Jesus calls now, uh, Charles 2020, it's a whole spranking new decade. I hope it's not going to be a year before we see you again, my friend. No, no, I hope not. You know, um, you know, we can we can do this anytime you want. I, I just knew you wanted to wait for the new song and, and 
and here it is, you know, so hopefully everybody liked it. Well, I, I can tell you, and I think this is going to be uh, significant in the, uh, in the music industry, I really, really do. I think this one's going to take off uh, wildly, uh, but it is rather different to what we're used to from you. Oh, totally, totally different. Um, I played it for some radio people, some industry people, and they, they like the song. They think that we should maybe take it to Christian country or Christian radio, and uh, you know, and also take it to to all the normal places. So, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to end up doing, and but I know people people seem to like the song. Well, we do. We really, really do. And believe me, all the stuff. Uh, as soon as they uh, heard Charles Parker, they went play it for us. We want to hear it. So we played it, and well, what do you know? They all loved it here at Galaxy. They really, really did. Now, Charles, uh, at the same time, so good to be able to see the diversity of uh, Charles Parker as a writer, as a performer, and, well, as a singer as well. When's the next brand making you song? Um, I'm not sure. I, I probably still have to write it, you know? There's there's songs that you, you always want to do the best, you know, the best one you can, and... Right now, I don't think I have the best one that I that I can do, and you you want to you want to kind of continue to top what you've done, and and we did Party Girls, and and we came out with Love Is Us, and that did a little bit better, and now we have When Jesus Calls, and hopefully that'll do even better, and, and you know we'll see where where we end up. Well, but, you know we can always talk. We can I can always come on your show. We can we can always talk about something. Absolutely, absolutely. And I tell you what, here's a line for you for your next song. When the DJ asks me to free my willy. <laughs> <laughs> and well, I, just let, I just let Willie out. Yeah, so exa yeah. exactly. And we've been exactly. Him run round. Only we would know what that meant. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but inside. interesting, interesting hook line that one. It really, really is. Charles. It was. You know, and I, I forgot to tell you, I, I do have something else going on that is a little different than than just these songs. Okay. Have you seen Have you seen my radio show? I've heard about it. Now, I'm it's, very interested in this, my friend, because believe me, uh, I might be able to pick up a couple of tips on how to be a, a decent announcer. I've come over to your side. You've, you've brought me over to your side, Grant. I'm on a show... Uh, on a station now out based out of Baltimore called 97 Underground. And the station's been around since 1982, broadcasting. And now it's broadcasting around the world. I think there's, you know, almost 140,000 listeners. And uh, so it's growing, and it's it's uh, hard rock and heavy metal. So we play all those all those hair bands from the old days and, and play some new music, and I play some local music and unsigned bands, do some interviews with people. So it's a, it's a fun time. And it's something different for me to be on the other side of the mic versus the musician side. You know, now I get to be on your side. And and how do you enjoy that? Is it a lot of fun for you? Oh, it's great. It's a, it's a good time. You know, I get to program music. I get to talk to people. Um, you know, when people send me their music now, and and I get to put them out. You know, stuff that I find that maybe doesn't get a lot of airplay. Now I get to put that out there and get. Get it air, you know. Get airplay and, and expose new new music to people, you know. Otherwise, where they would never hear it. You know that is a fantastic concept. It really, really is. Uh, gosh, I wish we had thought of that one. I really do, uh, <laughs> because believe me, uh, indie music is the future of all music, and uh, I, I think it's a great That's place to start with grassroots indie music. You know what I mean, and, and build out from there. Our rule, I've got to be honest with you, Charles, is we only play the good stuff. If you stay with that rule, believe me, you'll have an audience like we do. And, you know, 100 plus thousand people is nothing to be sneezed at. I congratulate you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a good time, so I'm glad I get to do that now. But, you know, but the, the priority is putting, putting out my songs and, uh, you know, playing shows. Exactly, exactly. And Charles Parker... You are a superstar, especially here at Galaxy. Believe me, everybody loves your music. From Party Girls to Love Is Us, of course, now we got When Jesus Calls.
absolutely love that. Charles Parker, thank you for joining us this morning. Don't go away just yet, uh, but uh, right now you are here at Galaxy 107 FM, 20 minutes after 11, 31 degrees. It's hot.